is not, it's not quite exactly what I intend. But we shall oppose one another in the course of time. Now we're working together, and I'm asking you... For patience, I expect. Well, when the people disagree, bringing them together requires going slow till they're ready to make up the Now, shit on the people and what they want and what they're ready for. I don't give a goddamn about the people and what they want. This is the face of someone who has fought long and hard for the good of the people without caring much for any of them. Now I look a lot worse without my wig. The people elected me to represent them, to lead them, and I lead. You ought to try it. I admire your zeal, Mr. Stevens, and I have tried to profit from the example of it. But if I'd listened to you, I'd have declared every slave free the minute the first shell struck Fort Sumter. Then the border states would have gone over to the Confederacy, the war would have been lost, and the Union along with it. And instead of abolishing slavery, as we hope to do in two weeks, we'd be watching helpless as infants as it spread from the American South into South America. Oh, how you have longed to say that to me. You claim you trust them, but you know what the people are. You know that the inner compass that should direct the soul toward justice has ossified in white men and women, north and south, unto utter uselessness through tolerating the evil of slavery. White people cannot bear the thought of sharing this country's infinite abundance with Negroes. A compass I learned when I was surveying Hiddle. It'll point you true north from where you're standing, but it's got no advice about the swamps, the deserts, and chasms that you all encounter along the way. If in pursuit of your destination you plunge ahead heedless of obstacles and achieve nothing more than to sink in a swamp, what's the use of knowing